guys, what's up? Well, I went Black Friday shopping again. Not super early this year, but I did go and oh, deals suck. Strollers suck. People that drag their children and husband everywhere and use them as walking coat racks suck. I was literally so full of no, but I did buy a few things, so I thought I would do a haul. The first thing I got was not part of the Black Friday haul, but I did get Back to Mac, and if you don't know what Back to Mac is, where have you been? Anyways, Back to Mac is a program, blah blah blah, that's run by Mac, you can return six of your um, Mac containers, like used, whatever, and they'll give you a free lipstick. So I got a free lipstick, and this is Russian Red by Mac. It's this beautiful, beautiful color, it's matte, and it's just gorgeous. I wanted this lipstick for a while now. I don't wear red that much, but I thought, if it's free, why not? Next thing I got were also not part of the Black Friday sale from Sally Beauty Supply. I just got shampoo because I needed it. And this is my mane and tail. Um, shiny manageable hair shampoo. So yeah, this shampoo helps your hair grow really fast and I like it. I already have conditioner because I have so much conditioner and so little shampoo. I think this is like eight, nine dollars. Next place I went to is the face shop because I have a face and there's a shop for it. They had an entire store ride 40% off and the store was like empty because I guess no one knows about the face shop. It's a Korean skincare brand and it's awesome. If you've been watching me for a while now, you know I've been loving the face shop. All I know is I saved $13. The first thing I got is this eyebrow pencil because girl, you need your brows. So it is the Design My Eyebrow Pencil. That was originally like $7, I think. Next thing I got were these two lip pencils, and these two are three, four dollars each before discount. So this is the Touch My Lip Liner. These lip liners are really good in store, and I told you guys I really like lip liner lately because my lips are sometimes so uneven. I don't know why, but they are. Then I got a shit ton of nail polishes. I used to have a bunch of nail polishes. Like, honestly, I could open a nail salon. I don't think these really have names. The first one is like this beautiful royal blue color, and these are really pigmented, so I really liked it. These were $3 each. Got this sky blue one. I got this one, which looks exactly like the periwinkle one from China Glaze. It's a periwinkle color. I got this one, which is kind of like a nude pink glitter because everyone needs a little glitter in their life and this on top of this on top of like a black nail polish or any dark polish it's fucking beautiful so for the holidays i'm gonna be doing that last really basic i got black basic bitch so yeah last place i went to i know it's already the last place and yeah that tells you how bad black friday was forever 21 because i am 21 and not forever, but first thing I got was this um, shirt. This was 50% off, so it was only like $6. So it looks like this. The sleeves have this interesting material on them, and it says, you can read, right? It looks really like, I want to say punk rock, but kind of like edgy, I guess. I tried this on. It was okay, so I was like, why not? Next thing I got on the rack it looked really ugly and like stupid but I was like hmm you know what I'm gonna give this one a chance so I took it in a change room and I was like oh, it looks so edgy again that kind of style I just really like it it has like all these holes here like hello that's weird yeah it just, just not do that yeah but it has shoulder cutouts and it's a crop top goes a little bit above your belly button so yeah, this was like $9, I think, with discount. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I got for Black Friday 2014. Canada, why can't we have, like, good Black Fridays like the USA? Why? Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at AZ Premium. And see you guys next time. I hope you guys had a better Black Friday than I did.